Hi, this is Patrick Barrera at Grantham Academy. I have a movie today for um, this Hitachi CPX 2010. We're going to look at replacing the filter and checking a few other things on it. Um, right now I have it cranked up and I want you to see um, the filter time on it right now is really high, almost 3,000 hours. Uh, this particular projector was reported as going dim after a short amount of time. I want you to look at the lamp life is about almost 3,000 hours too. So we're looking at possibly a filter that's never been changed or cleaned and a lamp that's close to the end of its life. An average time on the lamp could be about 2,000 hours. Um, if you're really, um, if you use the conservative settings, you can even get 6,000 hours out of it. It just depends. Uh, this one had no conservative settings on it and everything was on normal. So the lamp was full blast uh, during its life. We're going to go back to filter time. Since we're going to be replacing, uh, cleaning the filter and actually replacing it, um, I'm going to change the, I'm going to do the filter time reset by going to filter time, hitting the right arrow key on the button, on this button here. And if you'll see, um, you have the option to reset it, uh, toggle to the right and you'll notice that the filter time goes to zero. We're also going to be replacing the lamp. Um, I have a lamp, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it uh, based on what the teacher said, that it was uh, kind of flickering and going dim. And we're going to go to the advanced menu, go to options, you look at the, go down to the lamp time, toggle to the right with the menu button, and reset it. After that, we're done with the menu. We go down and power off. Uh, hit the standby button twice. We're going to let it cool down, and then I'm going to show you um, additional parts where I uh, clean and replace the filter and also the lamp. Okay, I've turned the machine over and you'll notice like a little uh, attachment here. We're going to go ahead and slide this forward. Uh, most of the time this can be reached even when the machine is mounted, but I wanted to turn it over so that you could see what you're doing. Um, inside the filter element looks pretty good. Um, normally what you would do is take this out, turn it over and blow through it. Um, we're actually going to replace it today. And if you'll notice, there's two layers. This is the main layer. And then below, we also have this more. Now, this one's pretty bad. And you'll want to go ahead and blow that out. Uh, first thing most people do is they take it to the trash can and hit it really hard. Knock the dust loose. Um, you can also blow through this element and get it nice and clean. I'm going to do that off camera. So now we're going to look at replacing the bulb. And if you look at the side, there's just one screw here. You unscrew it, take it off, and inside you'll find the bulb. Now the old one comes out with three screws. Remove it carefully. Of course, make sure it's not hot. Even though it's essentially trash, it's full of mercury and we don't want to accidentally drop it. So we're going to place the new one in, press firmly down, screw in 
three screws. One of the things that I did too is I cleaned out that um, the spot where the uh, light goes, the bulb goes, because it's usually really dusty. And there's a fan right there that collects a lot of dust. Press this on, you'll notice there's a, like a little knot to line up. Press it forward. And screw that back in. And you're done. Uh, if you haven't already uh, gone into the advanced menu under options, and use the right toggle to um, to reset the time. Go ahead and do that after you're done here.